It started when my girlfriend and I were taking stupid dork pictures for amusement. One we took was of me holding a knife to her throat. I thought it was pretty badass so I made it my profile picture on Facebook. Granted not a great idea. Later on that night, I went through my notifications. The picture had a lot of people leaving comments from dudes you're so fucking sick. What the hell is so cool about holding a knife to a fucking girl's neck? To God hates you for your pride in that. I do have a few hundred friends on Facebook. I should have seen it coming. There was one comment from someone whose name was just a tilde or squiggle. Which was odd, because Facebook has at least three rules to prevent that. The comment was just a smiley face. I didn't think much of it at the time except that one of my friends found a glitch. I was not too interested in finding out who at the time. I just wanted to delete the photo, because with a 30 to 40 negative replies, I figured it would just be better to remove the picture and not worry about any more death threats rather than try to explain it was a fake. I clicked the options button, delete photo, are you sure you want to delete this photo? Yes. There was an unusually long loading period. I clicked refresh and my browser closed. I didn't think much of it because shit like this happens all the time. I run Windows Vista. I reopened Chrome and went back to Facebook. The picture was still there, so it was apparent that Facebook never got the message to delete it. Ten notifications appeared in that time, all of them comments on that picture, more people going on and on how I'm a deranged lunatic except one. From Squiggle, which again was another remark and this time it was an unsure or nervous face. I went to delete it again and as soon as I clicked, it was gone and my profile picture returned to the default blue silhouette. I browsed through my old pictures to designate one as my new profile picture. I picked an old one from when I had my MO, Bangs dyed black and red, from 2008. I got a lot of compliments on it before so I figured why not. I set it up and returned to my profile. The picture of my girlfriend and I in the prank pose was back, only it had a noticeable red tint to it. I knew it was just a glitch, because of all that timeline bullshit that I pride myself in being able to avoid for so long, but it sent shivers down my spine, because it gave a real, creepy feeling to the image. I clicked refresh thinking that would solve the issue. Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? It did. My picture was now younger, M.O. Ermi. It meant nothing but that red, tinted picture was stuck in my mind like a whisper, too faint to know what it was saying. I continued on with my pointless, no life, life looking at endless pictures on mean base. Ten minutes passed before I heard the, the dupe, sound that signal someone cares about my existence, so with more excitement than I would like to admit I switched tabs right away to see who messaged me. For some reason there was no message, but my display picture was back to the red, tinted joke picture which is odd cause, when I switched tabs I stayed on this page, and if an image were to be changed I'd have to refresh the page. I got a notification just then so I checked it and big surprise another fucking comment on the picture. The picture that had been unaffected by my delete attempts other than a bit of discoloration. I clicked it, just to find out how much of a twisted fuck I am. But there was only one comment on it from, guess who? Squiggle posted another face, a sad face. This is when I decided this was pretty weird, so I clicked the approximately equal sign, tilde. There was 30 seconds where nothing happened and my screen turned black. A sound came from my speakers almost like a young girl's giggle, but generated through a Jacob's ladder. It was almost demonic. I touched nothing and listened as the electro giggles turned into electro cries, then into electro screams, then fell into silence. My heart was pounding, literally fucking pounding, on my ribs like it was a homeless man in a drunk tank trying to escape by hitting the bars. I started to hyperventilate. Everything went black. I woke up on the floor and all I could recall was swimming in warm milk. Then I was lying in blood. I was covered in it. Warm milk must have been what my mind equated the blood to during my unconscious state. 
I started to panic checking myself for injuries that would cause this much blood when I noticed both my wrists were cut to the bone I fainted again. When I came to the second time, the blood was gone, my clothes were not stained, and my wrists were fine. Almost. There was twin scars on each, no doubt, from the cuts, but if they healed already... How the hell long was I out for? It must have been weeks. And why the fuck did I wake up in the same spot? And who took care of me? Immediately I stood up and looked at my computer. It was on my Facebook profile everything normal, but that damn picture was still there. I looked at the date. April 12th. The same day. What the hell? I mean, yeah, I can believe hallucinating the blood, but these scars are real 100 per fucking cent real. I calmed myself down and made myself believe it's just after effects of the blackout and after a while I'll stop seeing things. Mind you, I had no fucking clue what caused the blackout to begin with. I had completely forgotten about Squiggle and the electro screens. I sat at my chair and continued doing the last thing I remembered, which was deleting the profile picture. I clicked on it and got a notification at the same time. I didn't have to check because I saw it. A comment on the picture from Squiggle this time a crying face. I glanced my eyes back to the picture and I jumped out of my seat. In the fraction of a second it took me to see the crying emotic and the picture changed. No refresh, no upload, nothing was even clicked. It was essentially the same picture, same red discoloration, the only difference was the word kill spammed across the whole thin top to bottom in a slight darker red than the tint. Calming myself again, I made myself believe I was just dealing with a sick, demented and very skilled hacker. I clicked the home page but there was no news feed, as if I was on a brand new account. I didn't have any friends or feeds or group memberships. Everything was gone. But that can't be. I have 5,000 friends, right? I clicked over to my home page. All the posts I have ever made were deleted. The only post on my wall was from Squiggle and it only contained at The Angry Emoticon from MSN. Looking over at my friends list the number was normal but all of the friends on the list plainly visible were named Tilda, Squiggle. And the most terrifying part was all of their pictures were the same demonic red tinted fucking picture with the exact same layer of writing, kill 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 kill. I didn't even bother to look at the rest because I knew I would find the same thing 5,000 times. I had enough, whoever this squiggle was had successfully scared me off the internet and my computer altogether. I walked over to the wall knee shaking I bent over and unplugged the cord from the wall. I stood up, turned around and, holy fuck. My girlfriend was standing there, her head bowed and her fangs hit her face in the shadow. Holy shit, babe. You scared the shit out of me. What are you doing here? I noticed she was wearing a dress. It was a blue dress, made out of an almost jean-like material. It had white polka dots and I recognized it, but I couldn't remember from where. Her arms drooped to her sides. They were pale and I could see scars on the wrists. They were the same scars I have, the exact fucking same. Are you okay, baby? You were scaring me. She began to giggle in the voice of a little girl with a very disturbing and shocking noise thrown in. The electronic giggle. I froze in fear as she started to walk towards me slowly. When she got about one foot away from my face she stopped and silenced her giggle then raised her head. Her eyes were... Backwards? I could see the optic nerve stretched around the top pulsating. She stared at me or rather stared at her own brain. I then recognized the dress. I saw her wear it in a picture I saw at her grandparents' house. It always made me think of her innocence. I could not speak, I could not move, I could not even shake. I felt no physical existence as fear washed over me. Her face started to... Boil. She whispered slowly, you were almost right. What? I blinked and she was gone. I then fell to my knees and cradled my entrails. <laughs> Ha 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 